Hello everyone, welcome to Verblin. My name is April and for this class we're going to do show and tell. Be very interested to see what you guys have, so please join this class if you would love to show us something and tell us about it. Please hit the green join class button and we'll get started as soon as everyone enters the room. All right, so I see, yes, good, everyone's back. All right, who else is going to come in? All right, yes. Okay, perfect. All right, so let me see. We have one, two, three, four, five. Yusuf, Wolf, Sebastian, Multitas, and Hussein are back. Okay, so just so everyone knows, we have one, two, three, four, five people. There is still four slots available so if anybody else wants to come in and this is your opportunity to show us something and tell us about it so definitely join and I'll give everyone one more minute um, but while we're waiting to see if anyone else comes what did you guys think about that particular debate the sink and ship debate <laughs> <laughs> What Very is it? It's a yeah. <laughs> Is that the bit class? I was supposed to learn. No. It's a mistake. <laughs> yeah, it's always it's it's always um difficult in those type of classes to really prove yourself. Especially if it's a situation where you have um like for a one we had Mark Moon being the um one who had the mental health issues, but he was a great swimmer, so it's like a catch-22, which means it's like you're really not sure it's what to do. <laughs> <laughs> and Mark Moon didn't make it into this one, okay. Uh, Mina, I see you're in the chat. It would be great if you join in because we still have some room available. So instead of participating in the chat, you can definitely come in. All right, we have Wasim is here. How are you, Wasim? I see you smiling, and I don't know if you're speaking or not, but I can't hear anything. So you may want to work on your microphone because I do not hear you. Uh, um, hello, do you hear me? All right, there you go. Yes, I hear you. Perfect. Okay, confirm. Oh, there is another Sebastian here. Whoa. Okay, so Wasim, where are you from? So oh, me. Where are you from, so I'm from Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia, nice. I'm from Saudi Arabia. Perfect. Yes. Now, now can you eliminate some of the background noise, please? What? Can you eliminate or take away some of your background noise? I hear some noise in the background. Yeah, I'm in public place. You're in a public place? Yes. Are you using the microphone? Uh, my laptop microphone. Okay, well, I'll tell you this. I'm going to have to mute you when you're not speaking, okay? Okay, I would mute my uh, microphone. Okay, perfect. And when it's your time to speak, then you can turn it back on. Okay, and then okay, we have... Very good. Okay, and then we have Sebastian. Uh, how are you, Sebastian Sierra? All right. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Great. Where are you from? I am from Colombia. Colombia. Very nice. And Sebastian Sierra, we have another Sebastian in the room. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hey, sir. And 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 this Sebastian is from Chile. Nice so, to meet you. Man. There you go. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna go here and get started. And anybody else who wants to join while we're getting started, feel free to do so. Today's class is going to be on show and tell. So basically, this is your opportunity to shine. This is your opportunity to show something that's very dear and near to you. And tell us about it. Be very descriptive on why this is important to you. Um, I asked the class to bring two items. So 
what I want what what I want you to do is focus on one item first and then if we have time we'll all go around again and talk about our second item so that's how the class is going to go. Um, I see someone else joining Ahmad. So hi, Ahmad. So that's what we're basically doing. So, I, so all of you guys have something to show, correct? Yes. Okay. Everyone else besides Sebastian has something to show, correct? Yeah. Okay, great. And if not, you can work on that while someone else is going. So I'll go ahead and start first. Okay, so let me see if you'll be able to see this. It's kind of like the glass is broken and everything. But the first thing that I wanted to show was basically my degrees. Okay, so, so let me get this. All okay. right. So this one, actually, this degree was in Latin, but this was my bachelor's degree that I received. Um... As you can see, the name says April. My middle name is Michelle Covington. And I re received a bachelor's in English. This meant a lot to me because I was the first person in, out of my family to go to college. Once I went to college, everyone else started following suit. So my younger cousins, my other brothers and sisters started all going to college. But that meant a lot to me because I was the one who actually started it all. And it, and it's just an achievement. So it was it, it's just something that means a lot to me and it was a very fun experience being in college and just the atmosphere and I learned a lot about different cultures. So it was just a, a beautiful experience. And this is my other degree. This is a Master's of Science in Higher Education. So I have both a bachelor's degree and a master's degree. And the reason why my master's degree is very important to me, obviously one being because it's another stepping stone. I have improved or I guess you can say continued my education. Um, the most beautiful thing about my graduate degree is that I graduated with the hon highest honors. So I graduated with a 4.0. It's the highest GPA you can have. So I'm, I'm very proud of myself and um, what I have accomplished. And my, my, next, my, my next goal is to get my PhD, my doctorate degree. So I definitely plan to do that um, one day and hopefully one day soon. But that is what I wanted to show you guys and um, I just wanted to share that with you. So thank you for listening and what I want you guys to do is when each person shares something, I want you to ask that person some questions if you have some questions. So anyone have any questions for me about my show and tell? about you about your yes you have any questions for me about what I showed you about my experience yes where where did you did you agree where did I attend school yes where okay so for undergraduate which was when I received my bachelor's degree I went to a school called Dickinson College and I'll write it down in the chat it's a very good school. It's a private liberal arts college. And then after I went to Dickinson College for my graduate degree, I went to a college called Drexel University, which is another great college. Um, both of these colleges are, well, both of these colleges are in Pennsylvania, which is the state that I live in. But Dickinson College was two hours away from my home because it was in a different city. Drexel University is um, in Philadelphia where I live. And thank you, Wasim, I believe it was, and Basma that put congratulations on hard, hard work, April. Thank you very much. And Wasim, yes, um, Dick Drexel University is one of the top engineer engineering schools. So. Yes. yes. My, I have a question also. Okay. Uh, 
I mean, this uh, college you have a degree. You got a degree. The, did you pay or did, did you have? Uh, is it free? You have to pay or did, did you have a scholarship also? Well, that is a very good question. When I went to Dickinson College for the four years, um, I received a lot of scholarships because of how well I did in high school. But the college was very expensive, so I still had to take out loans. The college was, at the time, $33,000 per year, okay? So out of $33,000 per year, I received about $29,000 per year in scholarships and grants. So I only had to take out about $4,000 in loans per year. Now, the, that was very different when I went to Drexel, when I went to grad school. It's a lot harder to get scholarships and grants for uh, grad school. Most of the time you have to just pay grad school straight out. Depends, but a lot of times that's the case. So my grad school program was $40,000. $5,000 for the two years that it took for me to get it and guess how much money I took out in loans for my uh, graduate degree program $45,000 <laughs> oh <my God> <laughs> yes so um, I'm sure you guys can imagine how I'm feeling after I graduated and had to start repaying those loans so yes I had two different experiences because my undergrad degree was basically paid for and then graduate so totally different story so good question anyone want to loan me some money I'd appreciate it <laughs> <laughs> I have a Chilean coin here if you want oh, thank you I certainly appreciate it <laughs> okay so yeah so that's my story oh go ahead I, I was expecting your son where is he Oh, he is actually with his grandmother, which is my mother, um, and he won't be back until 6.30. However, oh, I was going to say I can have him say hi during my um, class at 10, but he should be asleep by then. So, But he's been dying to say hi to you guys again. I mean, yeah. literally dying. So I got to find a way to... Same to, here. Yeah. Oh, thank yeah. you. I have to find a way to get him back. So I definitely will. Thanks for asking. Yeah, so that's it. That's my um, beautiful story of getting my degrees and, and now being broke. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but it's a, it's a wonderful thing to have. It's something no one can take away from you. So that is what I love about it. All right, so, okay, it's a lot of noise. I don't know which who's that's coming from this time. Let me see if... I can meet some people and see what's going on here. All right. So who wants to go next with the show and tell? I can go Say first. Well. Okay, go ahead, Sebastian. Yeah. So I have no problem. Um, this for me is very important. Has uh, an emotional uh, importance. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> no, but it's great. Are we gonna cry? No, no, no. Oh, okay. May, maybe me, but no. Uh, <laughs> I love my grandfather. Oh. He for me is is one of the best people on earth and maybe the universe. And he's he's the he's just the best, and he worked for the for his entire life. He's he's alive. He's okay. 18, 83, 84 years old, and he's he always worked very hard for her wife, my grandmother, and the the four uh, uh, children. One of them was my mother, and for the work they and and the company that they, he worked, uh, they g gave him. Uh, a reward is kind of like a medal, but it's a silver coin, kind of. I don't know if oh, you can see it. Yes, yes. Of uh, twenty years of of working here, of wor working there. So they give the, uh, this to him, and it was a, a company of of magazines about uh, a, a lot of. Um, how can I say it? History uh, books, books, uh, uh, magazines, cartoons, about everything. So in 
my mother always say that they, for them, uh, the culture and cartoons never. Uh, they always uh, learn and and oh my god and and read about everything because they, they, they my grandfather always gave them Sorry, so uh, what well, yeah. I'm going to write to the point uh, he gave me this to me Aww. the silver coin we are a lot of uh, grand uh, childs that is the word, right? Grandchild? Grandchild, yes, you're his grandchild. And I don't remember. There was no reason to him to give me this. He just gave them to me. He said, Sebas, I will give you this. And for me, it was so great. And I always, <laughs> I'm always saying to my other cousins, like, I have this and you don't have it. Oh. <laughs> you know, but I, for me actually it's very important because this is part of my grandfather's work like uh, a husband, a father and a grandfather. So for me it's very important. Oh, okay, bueno. That was so sweet. Very <laughs> sweet. Any questions for Sebastian? And so I have a question. Now what city do you live? To In Washington. Santiago. Oh, all right. And you say your grandma, grandfather is 83 years old? 83, 84, I, I don't know. Something don't like that, know. okay. Yeah. And how is he doing otherwise? Like, is he getting around very good and everything? He's great. He's oh. like, he was like, I don't know, like 18 years old. I mean, he... Wow. He's always, he loves movies, so we're always talking about movies, and he's great. He's he's like an open book. He knows everything. He That is beautiful. Yeah. How often do you get to see him? Not of, right now, not often, because he he not live. He's now living in the north of Chile. Oh, okay. Uh, but but the last year I was living there in La Serena, and I will try to to go to see him like at least five times uh, a week, and I, I I always trying to call him, and I don't know. I'm yeah. I mean, I'm trying to. To know what is what is going on with her life. That is, life. that is so beautiful. Anybody else have any questions for Sebastian? Okay. Well, I will just say this: it is very, it's a great thing when you have a grandmom or a grandpa because that's a lot of wisdom. That's a lot of wisdom. They've lived for a long time. They've went through a lot of different experiences. So it's always a beautiful thing when you have that. And I would say, you know, stay in, in contact as you continue to, you know, as you do. And um, just stay very close to your grandpa. I wish I had that. My grandmother and grandpa died when I was young. So, and then when I see my son, who has a very good relationship with my mother, I mean, they are so tight, and I think that's so good, and I think it's so important. So, it would be great if you can to share this link of this class and show it to your grandpa one day. I think that would be, be beautiful. Nice. Yes, that would be nice. And thank you so much for sharing um, that. That was a, a nice story, and I thank you for that. Okay, so who is next? I question if it's... Uh, Ama, you said you had a question or you want to go next? And then I want to ask you. Sure. <laughs> you, you, you're asking Sebastian? And then I ask you, April. Okay. Are you married? I'm sorry? Uh, are you married? <laughs> <laughs> no, because you, you said, because you said uh, the time you see your daughter or your son. <laughs> It's well, I'm, I'm not sure why that even. Um, I appreciate the question, but I, that has nothing to do with uh, what we're talking about right now. So I'm just going to go to the next person that wants to do show and tell. <laughs> All right. Because so, I want to ask you about how to deal with children, really. <laughs> so um, who wants to go next? <laughs> I'll go next. Okay, go ahead, Motas. First of all, you made it so hard. Like yes, he PhD did. That's and, yes. Yeah. Oh, me? I thought you were talking about Sebastian. Oh, no. Yeah, don't. And, and Sebastian. And Sebastian. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> you both. Uh, I, I, I'm not sure it's important like yours, but I don't know. This <laughs> video game right here. FIFA 13? I never heard of that. Yeah, it's the yeah, most it's game. It's of all time. Is it? Okay, yeah. so what type of game is it? I can't really see. Is it a sports game? Okay, it's a sports game I'm seeing. Yeah. What type of sports game is it? It's football worldwide. Soccer in America. Uh, okay. Soccer. Okay. Yeah, it's it's the best. I, I play this game since... Uh, um, uh, I don't know. I, I'll type it. Okay. Yeah. Oh. 1998. Oh, okay. It's been a while playing this game every year. So since 1998, you've been playing this game. You have not stopped. Yeah. Wow. Every okay. different. Yeah. So I would say I would try it, but I'm so not interested in football, and I know that's probably going to. I know that was probably blasphemy to a lot of people, but um, <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely not into that. But that is so interesting. That's a great story. The play something since 1998. That's awesome. That must be a really good game. Yeah, it's, it's the awesomest game. It's, it's <laughs> it is very popular. It's very popular game. Are you are you professional? Yeah, are you good at the game? Yeah. Yeah. I like beyond <laughs> professional now, man. It's Can you beat like... me? Can you beat me? Yeah, for sure. You sure you can beat me? Like this, I can beat you like this. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I but yeah, I'm sorry, but you are playing FIFA. I think you know. The, I prefer to play, you know, Pro Evolution Soccer. Is a Pro Evolution Evolution Soccer is a hard yeah. than FIFA. You know? No, it's this game you're talking about is for losers. Sorry. No, FIFA, Sorry. FIFA for losers. FIFA because it's much easier than a uh, pro evolution soccer. Is a pro evolution soccer is much really uh, uh, harder uh, than uh, FIFA. It's the opposite I, that you're talking about. Okay, well, last question. What's your favorite team? Real Madrid. Real Madrid. Okay. Come on, oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Real Madrid. Real Madrid. Come on, this is the best. The best. But I'm asking about the game, not general question. What's your uh, Yeah, yeah. The game and the reality. Oh, okay. Thank you. My favorite game is uh, Call of Duty. Yeah, it's oh, my cool. second favorite game. Good. Modern Warfare. Yeah. Right game. Awesome. And, and not uh, Black Ops, yeah. Modern Warfare. It's very good. Yeah. Right? Especially the third. Yes. So what happens if you have you ever lost the game and had to replace it or this is the same exact game? No, uh, every year there's a different version. Oh, this, okay, this right. The, All right. This is the 13. The last right. year was oh, okay. Oh, okay. I got it. Yeah. Okay. No so you stay never. you stay on top of it. Every time one comes out, you get it immediately. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. All right. So you guys know about a game now. Well, some of you already know about uh, it, but if but if you don't, you should go out and get it according to Motaz. In in Tunisia, in Tunisia, the game uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's not uh, it's uh, it's not uh, in uh, it's not premium. You 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 play a single player uh, or not uh, multiplayer. You can play single player. Uh, the government, um, and, um, the government, um, and, uh, uh, all right reserved. Yeah, I, I know what you mean. Okay, which you have, you have, to, you have to buy the original to play yes. online. Yes, yes. Which, which? Uh, this, this is the original. See yes, this? I, I know, I know, <laughs> I know, I know. I know. Which, yeah. which platform do you use? As a PC, Xbox, as a game console? Uh, you mean this? PC? 
you PC. Yeah, yeah you, you, you are using PC. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be difficult because are you playing with uh, I mean joystick or you can uh, can you use a keyboard? Is it because uh, we are both, keyboard? I use both. Uh, keyboard is really making the sick is going to be difficult. Yeah, but I can play with both. No problem. How 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 much money? It's uh, it's like uh, eighty dollars. Eighty dollars. Expensive. Yeah, fifty pounds. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you very much for that, Motaz. Thank you very much for sharing. Yeah, but All right. I'm Who's PhD. Come on. No. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> Everything everyone shows here is very important. Very important, and it, and it helps us to get to know each other. So, who's next? Me. Next for show and tell. Who's me? Oh, um, Sebastian wow. Sierra. Okay, go ahead. Well, yeah, I, I want to show you you um my important uh, subject nowadays. That English. Phonetics and phonology. Okay. Yes, I, I have to read the, the book from to my university um, to learn as well um, English. Yes. And so, um, I have to to learn to learn very very well English. How to pronounce the words in English. In British with British happen. Yes. Because uh -huh. it, it, sometimes it's hard to to listen and um, the word when when people from the uh, United Kingdom. Yes, it's, it's so different. It sounds like they are than mm -hmm. the people from America or North North America. Yes? Yes, exactly. So that's very good that you're you're learning it because you're right. There are differences that you will find, and the phonology of English is is very interesting. I remember taking a class um, on it when I was doing um, the English degree. So, so are you finding it very interesting? Yes. Well, so I I, I find I found some some tips or some yeah. Mm -hmm. To talk, to talk like a um, uh, native, uh, native British, see? British native, yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. Um, they, they, um, they usually don't pronounce the the R and the N the, of the word. Okay. Yes, I, I have this. I found that that. You found that to be okay. Great. So, any questions for Sebastian? No other questions? Okay. All right. Thank you so much for that, Sebastian. Thank you for sharing. All right. All right. Who's next? Thank you. Who else has something that they want to show that's important to you? Uh, okay, April. I can go next. Okay, sure, Ahmad. Uh, go ahead. But uh, uh, seriously, uh, because uh, uh, I didn't prepare for this class, so. Uh, in minutes, I tried to find something online just to show something okay. that, that yeah, I have uh, learned before. So okay. it was yeah, uh, very useful for me. Uh, okay, um, what I'm going to talk about it is uh, how to fold a t-shirt in two seconds. Say it again. How to fold a t-shirt in two seconds. How to fold your shirt in two seconds. <laughs> yeah. Okay, do you have actually something to show? Uh, okay, I will try to share my screen. Yeah, try to share your screen. I want to see this. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just minutes. Um, first of all, um, can you see this t-shirt, guys? Yes, 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 we okay. can. <laughs> very interesting. I'm ready okay. for this. <laughs> I'm trying yeah, to make it very <laughs> interesting. <laughs> okay, uh, what we need... Uh, uh, we need a t-shirt, okay, and we need uh, three pinches. Okay, <laughs> what pinches we need exactly? I will try to draw them uh, on the t-shirt. 
Okay. Uh, the first pinch, uh, we need to uh, draw first. Can you see my cursor? Yes. Yeah, there is something wrong. Yeah. Uh, we try to draw uh, an imaginary line in the middle, uh, across uh, the middle of uh, this t shirt. Uh, let's uh, suppose that I am drawing now, yeah. From here, for example, this is the middle. Yeah. Okay. We will move until um, the short. Uh, uh, near to the edge of this t-shirt, okay? Okay. Okay, the first pinch will be here in this spot, okay? okay. This is number one. Okay. Uh, pinch number two, uh, we will uh, draw another um, um, <coughs> line, but we will go up uh, on the shoulder. We will move until here, so this will be the second pinch. Okay. Okay. The third pinch that we need will be uh, along this line, I mean along one and two, but we will go on the bottom here. This is number three. Okay. 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 What do we need, really? Uh, we need to uh, hold this pinch by one hand, for example, the left hand, and we need pinch two. We need to hold it by the other hand. Okay? Okay. Okay. Uh, we will move uh, our hand. Uh, the time we, uh, <coughs> uh, we hold pinch two, we will move from pinch two to pinch three. Okay. Uh, this is... Uh, uh, theory, I will show you uh, um, a small video clip. It could help more. Yes. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you can see. Um, no, we just see the shirt still. Okay. How about now? No. Still? Okay, I will try again. <clears throat> It, is it under YouTube? Uh, Maybe you could uh, on put it YouTube. On the yeah, link. but I will. Yeah, I will share my screen again now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry, just. Uh... Mrs. I have a question. Okay, he has a question. while you're doing it? Hmm. Can you, see, can you see my screen now? Yeah, no. but it's black. We don't see anything. About now? No. No. Do you have the link? Maybe one of us could try to put it up for you. Okay, okay, then, yeah. Put the link in the chat. Okay, it would be better. Yeah. And, and, and Yusuf, Yusuf, can you try to put it up when he puts it on the link? This is my link. Okay. You can have. Hello? Go ahead. Who's going to try it for me, Sebastian or Yusuf? Uh, I can try. Okay, go ahead. Uh, we can both try. Okay. Let's see who, who wins. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> uh, Mrs. I have a question. Yes. Uh, can you can can you have a solution for me? Uh, I want to improve my English expression and uh, way way to talk. Because what? my English is not very good, man. You want to improve your English, and what was the next part you said? Uh, in expression. In, in expressing yourself. Yes. Okay, my suggestion is that you continue to come to as many verbal and classes as you can. That yes. will definitely help you. Uh, you definitely want to participate in the conversation classes. Any of the ones that you set, you see that has conversation as the topic, you definitely want to participate in. Yes. Okay. Uh, be, um, because uh, the, the, uh, the language uh, of uh, the English language is uh, the, 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 uh, the. Yeah, I know it's it's a little difficult, but give us a second, Horace. We're going to look at this full your shirt um, scenario we have here. Okay, let's yeah, see can this. You, can you see it? Yes, is, we can. We can. It's the the three languages in Tunisia. 
Yes, give us a second, Horace. We're going to look at this full your t-shirt video. Okay. I'm going to play it. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Whoa! Whoa, that was fast. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I think I need to see that one more time. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Me too. Okay, is it possible or not? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, I know, I know, I know this is this. Whoa! I can't even. <laughs> I know, that's I know. This wow, movie. that's amazing. That's going to have to be in slow motion for me. I know, thank I know. This movie. Thank you um, for getting it up, Sebastian. Ahmad, thank you for that. That was very interesting. That's thank a very you, interesting um, show and tell, I must say. <laughs> So, okay, so thank you. Very enlightening, and I like how you started off with drawing it on the um, board for us and everything. I think that was perfect. Thank you. It's, it's very Thank you. Um, but but Horace, yes, definitely participate in more classes here, and there are a lot of things on Google that can help you as well. But um, I would definitely recommend just doing as many verbal classes as you can. As you can see, there are a lot of people here who are constant verb verbal users. They are using the verbal and chat area, and they are um, using the classes. So a combination of both will definitely help you. Okay. Uh, are you, I use, I use, uh, I use a Fairbringer, but uh, uh, I'm not uh, understand uh, the uh, more, more, uh, more uh, language. Okay, but you, it, it's going to take some time, so you can't just participate and then think that within a few months or so you're going to be excellent. You have to, it's a continuous process, you know, so you just have to give yourself a chance. You will learn it. Just give yourself a chance. It's going to take some time. Okay, no. all right. So I, um, I, I don't mean to cut you off, Horace, but I need to continue so that everyone gets a chance. So what you can do is you can go on my Facebook page and you can ask me some more questions about it and I can answer it that way for you. All right, so who's next? Thank you, Sebastian. Wonderful assistant. Thank you, Mr. Horse put the um <laughs> I mean um Sebastian put the link for you on my Facebook page, Horse, so you can definitely go on there and ask the questions that you need. All right, so who's next? Thank you, Miss. No problem. Who's next? Anybody else have some something to show? <laughs> assistant of the year absolutely <laughs> <laughs> Yusuf you have something for us not yet uh, yeah I go to sleep uh, good night good night you want to sleep yes okay Yusuf good night good night no it's it's harsh harsh It's Horace. Horace? What do you mean? Yeah, Horace is going to bed. Oh, Horace is going to bed. Oh, okay. Good night, Horace. Okay, Wasim, you have anything you want to show? Okay, Wolf, you have anything? I don't know. I don't have any specific. Uh, no? stuff to important but really? I can say one thing about I really live can't live without this I think it's very important I like a toilet flush tank it's very important I mean I can't live without that okay I, I missed that with I wasn't understanding you. It's, it's not important just oh, I'm, okay. saying that I'm just saying that is I don't have any specific uh, kind of things to share or show just I said that it's, it's not serious just I said I can't live without toilet flush tank it's very uh, important. I'm okay. just joking yeah no don't take okay that. okay <laughs> okay um who say you have something to show <laughs> I guess no. You say yes or no? Uh, I guess no. I don't have. Okay. All right. Well, I have something else to show. Um, and I have to go get it. 
So, <laughs> I'm going to blink my video and my microphone. I'm going to go get it and I'll be right back for you guys. Feel free to uh, converse. I will be back in less than okay. in less than 10 seconds. Okay, we're going to count. Okay. 10, 9. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah. go uh, and uh, uh, come back in can, two seconds. Can I ask you, please? Uh, how did you share uh, that you video? It's gone. Um. Okay, I'm going to show you. Yeah. You go. You go to to the little uh, green. Um, yes. Screen share with me. Yeah. Share share screen. Okay. Lovely. And there there is an option who is desk desk desktop. Desk Full desktop. I I believe. Full this screen button. might be. Yes. For the screen. Okay, I will it's try. It's the first now. one, I believe. It's desktop. desktop. Okay. Oh my God. Uh, I know. I, yeah, I know. I, I know. I failed my mission here, which was less than ten seconds. It didn't <laughs> quite work out, but nevertheless, I am back. Okay. So, what I need to show is the new addition to my family. The new addition oh. to my family. Yes. Yes. And that is Whoa. Candy. 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 This is this is my kitten Candy. Actually, actually she's really my son's kitten, but the new addition to the family. Um, candy is a sweetheart, as you can see. Look, look, look at it. She just wants to kiss my cheek and everything. Um, she is about ten weeks old now. Very, very busy kitten. Always loves to bite your fingers and <laughs> climb up on everything and just bad. <laughs> but, but she's being what a, a little kitten would be, which is very, you know, likes to explore and find out what's going on. And she's ready to get out of my, my um, hands now because she's like, what's going on? But uh, say hi, Candy. Say hello to Hi, Candy. Candy. <laughs> We're talking to a cat, but never mind. <laughs> I always I do it all the time, so And and doesn't and doesn't she have the um and we look alike, right? <laughs> and and doesn't she have the, the biggest ears? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she she has small a small face and, and big ears. Hopefully she'll grow into it, but if not, she's still a cutie. So it took us a long time to try to find her. We were looking for a little kitten because my son Braylon, he was very adamant that he wanted a small, small kitten. So it took us a long time to find her because it wasn't kitty season. But now we finally found her and she loves to, to sleep with us and play and everything. So she's just, she's just a wonderful little thing. So I'm going to let her go now because she's getting antsy. She wants to get down. <laughs> okay. Say bye bye. Bye bye, Verblin. She's going to be in video stuff. Okay, so I'm I put um kitten or kitty. So we say both. Obviously the real term is kitten, but we also use the word kitty for short. So yeah, but so what do you guys think of my little my can my what do you think of my candy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, thank you. Uh, question is Yes. Uh, what, what do you feed her? I feed her um kitty chow. Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought that you uh, cook something for her. No, but you know what? She is um she's actually going into the um it's weird. She kind of acts like a dog because she likes to go through the trash and look for food. I don't know why. Okay, we need to work. Who is this? What is hold on? <laughs> Where's the noise coming from? Okay, Sebastian, I had to give you because of the noise. Um, yeah, she she likes to go through the trash as well and look for food, look for human foods. And I don't know why, because I feed her very well. But yeah, that's um that's candy. Okay, uh, how many times do you feed her every day? Um, what I do is I put a lot in her bowl. 
and I let her go I let her go to it whenever she wants she's because she's like a baby I'm sorry like I'm actually my eyes are tearing up because like I told you I have a, a cold and but anyway um like um I'm gonna turn my video off so I don't blow my nose in front of you guys um like a baby she basically likes to eat all throughout the day so I just like put a lot in the bowl so that she has enough throughout the day to um, just nibble on. So that's what I do. And the same thing with her water. Uh huh, yeah. Right. yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Hussein put food and mouse flavor. <laughs> <laughs> so, <Yes>. yeah. <laughs> yeah, we do know that mice, um, I mean, cats love mice, but um, right now, I don't know why she wants to eat human food. I guess with being a, a cat, a kitten, being a baby, basically, I guess she doesn't realize yet. She just looks at food as food, so I guess that's what it is. But, um, yeah, that's it. So, any other questions? Excuse me, teacher. I have to go out. Okay, you have to leave? Yeah. Okay, you. thank you. Thank you so much for coming, Sebastian. Okay, thank you. See you. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, so Ahmad, was it something else you had? I see you share your screen again. Did you have something else to show? No, no, I was able to <laughs> return that uh, screen again. Okay, all right. So, um, someone just joined us. Nibble, Nibble, how are you? Nibble, um, Gokdemir, are you there? Okay, not there. Are you there? Okay. Stef St Stefano, are you there? Oh yes. Uh, hi. Perfect. Hi. Do you have something to show for us? This class is based on show and tell. You show us something that's important to you or significant, and then tell us why. And um, and now I don't have uh, I haven't uh, a webcam uh, so I, uh, I can't show uh, never. Okay, so why don't you tell us then about something that's important to you since you oh, can't show? Okay, I try. Um, I have a travel website, uh, Mind the Trip. Uh, the, uh, is a um, travel web website who. Uh, where uh, me and my girlfriend uh, mm -hmm. talk about uh, travel in Italy and uh, around the world uh, <laughs> as uh, experience uh, uh, around the world. And oh, great. So <laughs> oh, that's nice. That's very nice. I'm, I'm hoping to get... I, mean, I, I There are a lot of places that I want to go that I just have not done so I definitely want to but that I think that's that sounds great any questions for Stefano no questions for Stefano and I I just realized that my little kitty scratched me <laughs> <laughs> yes I, I this is this is what happens to me all day long because she still doesn't really realize that she's scratching, so it's like I'm, I get lots of scratches on my hands. So this is definitely something I have to. Well, no, I don't want to get used to. I'm gonna have to get her her nails clipped or something. Okay, so let's see now if ne Nebu, are you there? All right, I'm gonna eject out. I have another item. Okay. Go ahead, Sebastian. Okay, this is connect. This is connected with with my grandfather, of course. Again. Okay. This is is um, cartoon magazine. I don't know if is that correct. Yes. It's by a Chilean author, and the name is Cucalon. Cucalon. As yeah, as you can see, now it's very old. I mean, it's it's kind of falling apart. But the cool thing is that, and, and why it is important to me, is because all of us, like grandchildren, my grandfathers, my parents, uncles, we all read this same book. Oh, and really? Yeah. 
because we love this kind of, of of stories. And this book actually has been on everyone's houses on my family, and now it's here. And I'm not let let it go. <laughs> it's just going to be here for my kids if I have kids. I'm pretty sure. And that's why, and, and it's very colorfully. Oh my god, my English. And uh, well, the the main characters in in this one is a uh, a little boy who is is an adventurer who found uh, a magical um, belt, and with that belt he can go to the past and the future also. So he f he he go to the past to the pre uh, and he made a. Uh, a cavern man. I don't know how can I say it. Um, um, a man of in the of the prehistoric uh, hello place. Okay. So for my family, this is is, is a a very good. Um, hello. Rem we remember our childhood with this. Okay. Yes, Nadir, we can hear you. So. Hello. One second, now, dear Sebastian is talking. Yeah, no, it's, it's that that that's all for for okay. us. It's our childhood memories. So yeah. it's passed on. It's passed on from generation to generation, basically. Yeah. What yeah. does Kuk, what, do, what does Kukalo mean in English? It's the name of one of the characters. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. It is very good. I like that because I really like graphic novels and comics. But I think it it, it is is really old. I think is a must be expensive because it's it. I mean, is a maybe I don't know. Does it uh, collect? Does it does yeah. it work for a collection? I mean, some comic books really I'm, expensive. I'm sure that. More. Yeah, I'm sorry. Go on. So, so one more question also: Is that is a is is that is a character is a is is it, I mean is it based on Chile? Uh, I mean is is that any English ver, 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 uh, version or is it translated in English or I don't know. Language. I don't know if it if it is in in English, but but you can you can research you can search from it and that that is the the main characters Oguem and Pato. And yes, it's about Chile. Uh, not just Chile, but they go to a lot of different places, to the future, to the past. There's an, a lot of stories, not just a women pato, not just Cucalon, like football and funny stuff. And it's funny. And I, I'm pretty sure that, uh, that you say it, this maybe now is very expensive. Even the new edition are really expensive. So. I'm going to hide this from all of you because it's expensive. <laughs> yes, no, no, I, I, I'm serious. It's worth it's a, a lot of money, especially for uh, uh, collection hunters. They yeah. spent is a fortune about comic books. Um, uh, I, I mean, also, I mean, uh, this is a writer, uh, is a is or artist. Uh, is that from your country or? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's called Temo Lobos. Its character story uh, sounds like a Tintin. You know Tintin? I mean, yeah, it's kind of yeah, it's kind of Tintin. It's very goofy and and a lot of and you can learn about uh, this because the, one of the characters, uh, Ogu, go to the past and and he can go to Egypt or or to the dinosaurs uh, time. Or India, I don't know. So, it's it's history also. It's very good for children and for adults, of course. That sounds interesting. You say it's Kukalon. 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 Yeah. Okay. And how much is it? You would say. What? How how expensive is it? I mean, the new editions. Are kind of like I don't know in in English um, dollars, but in dollars, but is doce uh, mil pesos, like two thousand pesos. I don't know. It's, like ve it's very expensive. 
Okay. To okay. buy this book. Approximately how, how much? Four uh, dollars, more or less, more or less. Not not this one in particular. I mean the new editions. I don't know how. In fact, in fact, the old editions is expensive. I mean, it's a new yeah. edition. It's not really expensive, but yeah. Especially in the United States, some you know, is a Batman or Superman is really expensive. Is oh really yeah. Old. Yeah, it's about two million dollars, one million dollars. It's really is a it's unbelievable amount of money. Old yeah. issues. I mean, they people sell old issues about, especially detective comics about Batman stories. Recently, they sell about two million dollars. Whoa! Wow! Whoa! <laughs> whoa! whoa. <laughs> no, I'm serious. It's true. Yeah. Wow. I I don't know if this is correct, but it, it could be, I, because I go um, Google it the like from pesos to dollars. It is expensive. Okay. 25. So you think it's about twenty five dollars in U S dollars? Yeah, I don't know okay. if that's expensive there. No, that's I mean not really. And I don't know if I did I did it right. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not really expensive, no. But um, you said you think it's about two thousand pesos, basically. So yeah. I have to try to look up look that up and see. Okay. Well, I definitely appreciate those who did share sharing your stories and the different things that you had that were of significance to you. I definitely appreciate it. Um, and next time, what I would like for you guys to do with a show and tell type of class is number one, when you are participating in any verbaling class, you really should read the description first. So that if there is something required for you to bring that you are prepared, just like you would do in any other class, any other classroom environment, you want to make sure that you come prepared with something. So read the class description, come prepared if needed, and it helps for the better it helps for the classes to flow better as well and for everyone. But again, I appreciate um, everything that you guys share. And I would love to see all of you in the 10 p.m. I'll write it down. 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time class that I'm going to have where you have to debate a particular side. So you're going to be giving a argument, a, a side to argue, and you are going to debate it whether or not you actually agree with it or not. It's a very fun class, but it's challenging because it makes you think critically because you may have to debate something that you're not interested in or really don't agree with so it's very, very challenging it, yeah <laughs> it, it definitely helps you to see things from a different perspective Motaz put for shizzle <laughs> exactly <laughs> so I hope to see you there Motaz alright so you guys enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you later hopefully okay. alright bye bye, bye. Motaz